What's up guys? Baker here. Long time no see. How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over some little uh, kind of like bubble text kind of thing and uh, this is what it, it kind of looks like and stuff. So we got some little rotating Baker's tuts and then kind of bulging out Baker's tits over there. Okay. It's pretty cool. So um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Kind of like for a cinematic uh, introductions if you want to say like episode 3 of you know blah blah blah. So pretty cool stuff, and uh, let's get straight into it. So uh, you're gonna have your uh, cinematic in its own comp. Okay, so the uh, little bubble things we're gonna make are gonna be in their own comp, and you'll see why that is helpful. So we'll go ahead and make a new composition. And uh, normally you're on this preset, right? And uh, to make it easier, the comp, we want it to be a square. So. If this is locked, go ahead and unlock it, because what that does is it maintains the aspect ratio. So if you just unlock it, uh, oops, what the hell? Undo, okay, new comp. And let's do 720 by 720. That's just the easiest that I know. And then I'll keep this, the uh, frame rate the same. And we'll call this bubble text one. Boom. All right, so we got a square comp and transparency. Turn that on and off. Go ahead and make a new solid layer, and uh, we'll just make this white, and we don't really need to name this. And uh, if you click and hold, you can change your rectangle tool to the ellipse tool, and then just double click on the icon, and we get a circle. Click on the mask, and hit Command or Control D to duplicate. Set the mask to, to subtract, and expand the mask about negative mm, 40 pixels or so. Looks pretty good, and uh, now we'll just type in some text here. So uh, take your text tool and just uh, start typing. So Baker's Tuts. So pretty cool text. Now it would be nice if uh, you know they kind of lined up a little bit better. So what we're going to do is uh, double click, and it brings us into the text editing process. And highlight your second word if it's smaller, and then increase the font size. Now don't worry if it overlaps. We'll fix that right now. So. Uh, select everything and then just adjust the vertical tracking so that just uh, fixes that and then just you know make sure it looks pretty good so we'll center this up and uh, if you want to make it bigger or smaller don't change the font size once you got this set up change the scale of the actual layer and that maintains everything so I'll just kind of fit that in there if you want to center it bring up the title action safe and um, just looks pretty good how it is right there okay so I'll turn that off and uh, that that's pretty cool right there now if you want you can go ahead and make an adjustment layer and it will go to effect distort uh, bulge all right so remember our comp was 720 by 720 so the radii should be 360 and 360 and this kind of just gives us a cool little bulge effect, and uh, you can animate how far it bulges and, and stuff. It actually looks kind of cool like that. Interesting. But uh, for right now, I'll bulge it out, and uh, point, point 0.5 should be good. And uh, what we do is just go into our uh, comp cinematic and bring out the bubble text one comp. And there we go. So we'll tra uh, set the transfer mode to overlay. And uh, I like to use that a lot and just uh, scale this down and kind of shift it over. Now, the reason why I made a square comp before is because uh, the anchor point is created in the center. So if you have an obscure uh, comp size, we need like extra room or anything, and your anchor point is uh, offset a little bit, just go ahead and take the pan behind tool up here and just reset it right in the center. Because what we're going to do is hit R for rotation, and we're going to just have this uh, wiggling around. All right. So we'll reset it back to zero. Hold Alt, click on the stopwatch, gets our expression box, and we'll type in uh, wiggle, parentheses, let's go 1, comma, 20. So what that means is uh, one time every second, it'll wiggle 20 pixels, or 20 degrees, actually. So if you want to be uh, faster, just increase the first value. If you want to be more spinning, just increase the second value. So that's that's looking pretty good. Now another thing I did is I had it wiggling 
on over here and it looks it's a different type of wiggle and the bulge is kind of moving with it too so let's get into the into that so if you go to your project window and select the bubble text one if you duplicate it inside of that it'll make an exact copy of the composition that you can edit and it won't affect the bubble text one so we'll go into bubble text two and um, what we're gonna do is just go into the adjustment layer and go to the bulge center and hold alt and click on that stopwatch and we're gonna wiggle that position so we say wiggle parentheses uh, let's say about four times a second comma we'll wiggle it about 20 pixels so what that does is it just kinda you know, shakes it around and again you can change the uh, the amounts you can change the frequency and that's pretty cool and then so you just go ahead and bring that in bubble text too Again, set it to overlay and scale it down and then, you know, just position it over to something that's, uh, you know, not too bright or else you won't see it. And uh, that's about it. So wiggling, making little text kind of things and stuff and pretty cool stuff, don't you think, guys? And uh, sorry I haven't been so active and very busy with college and whatnot, but uh, making a montage or uh, not make the actual community montage should be out pretty soon hopefully this weekend so stay tuned you guys make sure you like the video maybe a comment or so and peace